Hello friends, this is Samal Patel this side and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am going to discuss about the S88 standard programming. So what is this programming standard? This is the uh, method of the programming, right? When you are doing the batch processing, when you are doing some particular type of the programming like batch processing in the pharma industry, batch processing in the food industry. So this kind of application, if you are doing, so you need to follow some particular standard method into the programming, right? Into the PLC programming. And that standard is called as the S88 standard. When you are doing your normal PLC programming, so this is, uh, that is called as a procedural uh, PLC programming but right now we are discussing about the some standard method of the programming that is called as a S88 programming and uh, this is used in the batch processing generally batch processing in the pharma and food industry right so let's start and uh, let's share my screen we'll discuss in a uh, uh, deep manner we'll discuss some basic to advanced level and in the next lecture we'll discuss by using the TIA portal uh, uh, PLC okay S7 1200 PLC in the TIA portal right now we are discussing about the some overview uh, some basic knowledge what should be the required to create the PLC programming uh, by using the SATS standard what are the modules are required right so this kind of the things we need to discuss right now inside this video so let's discuss and yes one more thing uh, why uh, this SATS uh, knowledge is required See, this is the advanced PLC programming when you are going to the interview. Okay, if you know some advanced PLC programming knowledge, so obviously it's a better, right? Your chances to get selected uh, will be very much higher. So you should know this kind of the PLC programming. Let's share the screen and we'll start again. Yeah. Okay, so this is the screen. So as it, it programming method yeah in this there are three modules okay do the plc programming using s88 standard you need to understand the three modules and the three modules are first one is phase the second one is equipment module and the third one is control module module okay. what is the phase actually what is phase phase is nothing but your sequence okay whatever is your sequence for example uh, is your uh, cip sequence is your pressure hold test sequence is your uh, sterilization sequence okay so whatever is the sequence is this is nothing but the sequence. Phase is nothing but the sequence. And uh, the sequence should have particular terminology. And uh, the phase should have particular states. Some particular terminology and some particular states should be available inside the phase. So you need to develop one function block inside the PLC that is nothing but one particular phase. Okay. And that function block should have particular functionalities. And that functionality is consists of particular states. That states are nothing but the. Let me write down for you. The states are, for example, running your phase uh, can be in the running mode. Your phase can be in the hold mode. Your phase can be in the abort mode. Your phase can be in the idle mode. These are, these are the states you need to use inside your PLC programming to create the phase. Okay. As I told you that there are three modules, phase, equipment module, and control module. Okay. So phase is nothing but your sequence. Sequence should have some particular states. Okay. So you should create your function block. You should create your sequence that will use this kind of states, running, hold, abort, idle. As far as the PLC programming is concerned, we'll discuss in the next lecture. Okay, not right now. We are just right now getting the some overview, some idea. What is the phase equipment module control module in the S88, right? So running, hold, abort, and idle. This kind of states you need to know. Phase should have this kind of states. And what are the equipment modules?
do you know some functions you need to do inside your logic for example filling function for example heating function for example cooling right so when you fill your tank uh, just understand when you fill your tank you need to just open some particular walls some particular pump okay you need to start some particular pump then water will uh, come inside your tank so what is this this procedure is nothing but your sequence not sequence no, this is the function okay this function will be done by the equipment module because equipment module consists group of devices okay equipment module is nothing but the group of devices let me write down over here group of devices group of devices means group of walls group of pumps for example if you need to do the filling so you need to open the walls you need to open the uh, uh, you need to start the pump okay so these walls and pumps are the devices so one equipment module is nothing but the group of the devices so equipment modules can be filling yeah can be heating cooling so these are the functions can be done by the equipment modules and equipment modules directly control some devices to do these functions the devices can be your walls and pumps right so phase is nothing but your sequence equipment module is nothing but your functions group of devices that are doing these functions and what are the control modules control modules means devices okay equipment modules is group of devices but control modules is particular devices the devices can be a walls okay it can be a, a pumps it can be a pids okay these are the control modules and you need to uh, program each and every control module into your sat8 standard so these three modules you need to develop inside your program when you are doing the batch processing when you are doing the sat8 standard programming right first of all phase function block you need to develop then equipment modules you need to develop there are different different equipment modules filling heating cooling then there are different different control modules you need to develop walls pids pumps vfds whatever it is now the main idea of the, uh, this type of programming is this now we we'll understand phase when you start one particular phase or one particular sequence okay so okay, not directly control the devices it will not directly control the control modules that means when you start your sequence automatically it will not directly open some particular walls to do the filling function to do the heating function okay uh, it will not directly uh, open the walls it will not directly start the pump it will not directly control the pid walls or uh, control walls okay so phase will control the equipment modules it will not directly control the control modules okay not devices and this equipment module will control the control module cm okay this is the method you need to follow when you start your phase okay when uh, by doing the operation when you start your phase automatically it will give the command to the equipment module and equipment module will gamma, will give the command to the control module and by this way you are doing the uh, process you are just complete the process for example if you want to do the filling process so let's start the filling phase so this filling logic will give the command to the control module and this control module this filling control module will give the command to its particular walls and pumps okay so like this way you need to do the programming and whenever control module operates it will give the feedback to the phase or equipment module not phase it will give you the it will give the feedback to the equipment module that means like this way phase will give to the command will give the command to the equipment module and equipment module will give to the will give the command to the control module okay when control module is activated its feedback is going to the equipment module okay and when equipment module is activated 
its feedback is going to the phase. Okay, so what is that feedback actually? Right. For example, phase is giving the command to the equipment module, and equipment module is giving the command to the control module, and your wall is open. For example, if your wall is open, but by some particular case, if your wall fails, so that fail feedback is given to the equipment module. That feedback is given to the equipment module written, and equipment module will give this feedback, this fail feedback to the phase. So like this way, this loop will finish, okay? Phase by giving the command, phase equipment module, control module. And by getting the feedback, control module to equipment module and equipment module to phase. So like this way, you can complete the loop, right? And uh, as I told you that these are some particular states, phase can be running, phase can be a hold, phase can be abort. For example, if you are, if you are getting the fail feedback from the wall and the same fail feedback will be given by the equipment model to the phase. So your phase will be in the hold condition, right? Because there is a fail to the devices. So it can be a hold condition. A phase can be abort condition also. A phase can be inside the idle condition also. A phase can be inside the running condition also. If everything is going okay, so phase is inside the running condition, okay? So this kind of this kind of states you need to follow. You need to develop inside your PLC programming. What are the states of the equipment modules? Uh, let me write down like this way, so you will get the better idea. These are the states. These are the functions and the states of the equipment modules. Equipment equipment module is running, so it can be a run. Equipment module is hold. Okay, so it can be a hold condition because some particular device is in the fail condition. So your equipment module will hold, right? So equipment module can be inside the hold condition also, or it can be inside the running condition also. Uh, running means you can write down the enable. Okay, enable means running. Now control models, which are the uh, states of the control models. Let me write down the states of the control models. States. Uh, states can be uh, with respect to wall. Okay. What are the states? Open, close, trip, run fail. Okay. Trip and run fail with respect to pump open and close with respect to wall. Okay, so this kind of states should be uh, created into your program when you are doing the control module programming. Each and every programming you need to do inside your logic, right? Phase programming, uh, equipment module programming, control module programming. When you are doing each and every programming, then you need to follow this loop, right? Phase should control the equipment module only should not directly control the control module, okay? This cannot control the control module directly. Control module means device. This should control the equipment module and equipment mo module should control the control module. And whenever there is a feedback is concerned, control module's feedback will go to the equipment module. It will not directly go to the phase. Control module's feedback will go to the equipment module and equipment module's feedback will go to the phase. Like this way, your phase will be inside the hold condition when any control module fails. Because when control module fails, equipment module fails. That means equipment module will go into the hold condition. When equipment module, module will go into the hold condition, then your phase will go into the hold condition. So like this way, each and every sequence should follow or should close this loop, right? It's all about the set yet standard programming. In the next lecture, we'll do this programming literally inside the TIA portal. Okay, inside the S7 1200 or S7 by using the S7 1200 or by using the S7 1500. We'll do this programming in the next lecture. So that's all about this uh, uh, tutorial. That's all about this video. Hope you understand all this overview, all these concepts of, of the S8 standard programming. This is 
a standard of the programming. This is the method of the programming. You need to follow inside the batch processing, right? It's not a mandatory to follow each and everywhere this this type of programming method okay you need to uh, just learn where to use and uh, where where if if i use this programming okay your program can be too much optimized okay you can do your programming very much fast so it's not a mandatory to use this kind of programming each and everywhere uh, you can use your normal programming uh, methods for the machines also for the small small machines for the small small sequences right but whenever there is a batch processing or whenever there is a batch sequence you need to just follow the SAT standard programming methods okay uh, that's all about this uh, video and uh, let's again meet inside the next video if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe like share and um, thank you very much for watching bye bye keep connected